Hello and welcome to Path of Darkness, my Star Wars Conquest Sith campaign. Now I'm a little bit worried because during a recent recording session on my other Star Wars Conquest series, I built a Force Sensitive Temple and noticed I could only recruit Jedi. And not Force Sensitives. Now, you see the issue here is that Force Sensitives I thought could be either a Sith or a Jedi, that's not the case. The Force Sensitive Temple allowed me to recruit Jedi Hopefuls, whereas I need a Force Sensitive uh, unit which I can upgrade to be Sith. And what I'm worried about is if it doesn't come from a Force Sensitive Temple, where did they come from? So you can sort of see my sort of worry here because it means I'm not going to be able to recruit any Sith unless I rescue them or something to that effect. Now I've been hoping that I can possibly find someone, you know, here to recruit, but it doesn't look like doesn't seem to be the case, so I'm a bit anxious now because it's gonna be a shame if I can't get any regular Sith in my army. So what can I do? I suppose I possibly could find one in the canteen, although I don't recall ever finding a Jedi of any kind or a Sith in a cantina. But it's something to uh, look into, I suppose. I'm about to be harassed here, aren't I? Oh, no, I'm not. My ship's faster. Yes, I'm so glad I uh, invested in my ship. It's paying off already. I need to do a bit of uh, reconnaissance now on this planet. Murder this guard. No one's gonna miss him. It's just a lazy bug. Do I even need my shield? These guys can't even aim. Put my shield up, the force will protect me. It will protect me, but I didn't say it wouldn't hurt. Okay. This will visit the canteen and I need to look through everyone here, see if I can find someone to recruit. Not only the people you can recruit are at the bar, however I'll quickly have words with the bartender, see if he's got any force sensitive lads that want to be hooked up with the Sith Empire. Oh, okay, so I can't recruit from a planet I'm at war with. Wonderful. Okay, so... Hmm... What to do in this situation? I'm not totally sure. Because one of the whole things about this series was that I was going to recruit Sif, and not just, you know, my companions, but, uh, you know, actual NPCs. If I can't... Wow, well, well, look at this. It's like all the huts are out, you know, <laughs> blockaded their planets because of me. Uh, okay, I'll get away from these guys for the moment. One thing I will have to keep an eye out for is looking for prisoners that are actually Sith and rescuing them and then making sure I keep them alive afterwards. That's going to be a very important way of doing things. Uh, I want a quick look at the Trading Academy, see if there's any options there that I've just missed or overlooked. It could also be that the... Yeah, there's nothing here. Or is there? Okay, it doesn't actually have a way to recruit. It could also be possible that... If you are in the rebel faction and you try to recruit from a force sensitive temple you will get Jedi hopefuls whereas if you're Empire and you try to recruit from a force sensitive temple then then you get Sith. I don't know how true that is but it's something I could certainly check out. Uh, I'll check a couple more planets. I'm going to check Gamor out and see if there's anyone in the cantina. 
I suppose if this is like if I wonder if this has the same mechanics as uh, Mountain Blade Warband where you can sneak onto a you know in, into a castle and break someone out of prison or jail There's every time I do this I get caught Reminds me when Luke's fighting the Rancor in the pit and the Gamorrean falls down with him and he's at the door trying to get out. Yeah, I'm the Rancor in this case. I love it. Okay, so look, we've got some Mandalorian commando armor here. A Neo Crusader helmet, that's not what I'm after. Okay, again, no Shadow Guard helmet. Figured it was worth a look. Alright, so look in the cantina. Are there any Sith? Or Force Sensitives? That's, that's what I'm after. Nope, I'm guessing it don't work like that. Okay. I'm going to have to come up with another plan. It may be that I have to make all my companions Sith to make the most out of having a Sith Empire. But we'll, we'll see. Oh, uh, we'll see. Kind of disappointed if that's the case. Alright, well, I could check the, a few more bartenders, however, I think they all have the same soldiers available for hire. Although, I don't recall being able to scroll down in the last one, so maybe it is different here and there. Civilians, I don't know what they get turned into, but I'll pick one up just in case. I think they turn into thugs though and stuff like that. Raiders. Unless there's something to do with it in the... I suppose I should have a look at some of these stats, find out what's going on. Oh wow, I have a lot of companions. So it wasn't there. in one of these menus. Nope. It was a Star Wars Conquest Dev Island. Hmm. I had no idea these were available, but these are very much cheating. Change player ship speed, add experience to player. Okay, so... I'm going to quickly... And while I, you know, try and keep things on topic when I play this campaign, I'm going to quickly test this theory I have. If it works, I'll let you know. If not, well, no, nothing lost, as I'll be making a new account, so bear with me. Or a new save. Okay, I am... I've got a massive smile on my face at the moment. So, I was able to test it on a new save, and as it turns out, depending on where your Force Sensitive Temple is built, uh, well, depending on which faction owns it, is what you'll recruit. So if it's on a rebel planet, say it's on Rune here, then I will recruit Jedi hopefuls. If it's on an Empire-controlled planet, I will recruit Sith hopefuls. And if it's on an independent, independent planet, like uh, a hook control planet, I will recruit four sensitives, which can be upgraded into either a Jedi or a Sith. So, yeah, I am really happy at the moment. And um, 
I figure I'll just quickly mention out, just in case any of you want to quickly test this if you ever get bored. Now, I'm not going to use any of this during this playthrough because it just ruins the experience, but if you happen to add credits and equipment to player, you will get Boba Fett's armor and weapon, but not just that. Forget about that for a second. There is an experimental lightsaber in development, and it's listed. You can only get it if you add it like that. And it's a multi-hit lightsaber, so if you're in a fight with a lot of people and you swing your lightsaber, you will pretty well knock out everyone, sort of, you know, in the immediate sort of cone area in front of you. So it's, it's like a lightsaber would. If you're siphoning the lightsaber away, you know, in front of you, swinging it to multiple people, you're going to hit multiple people. And that's essentially what it does. Now, I'll leave it to you lot if you want to see me use it or not. I mean, I can, you know, deal with people one at a time and this is not a problem. It may be overpowered, but, um, yeah, I'm just wondering if you want it to be a bit more realistic. But, uh, yeah, let me know. Anyway, back to this. I have got renewed energy now that I know that I can actually recruit Sif. I'm extremely happy. And a couple of my companions have... Gained experience, so let's go ahead and see what we can do for them. Now, uh, while I was on there though, I didn't mess with the ability to max out my stats, and when my athletics was was maxed out, I was running the same speed as the uh, Jedi Grandmaster. You know, you see how fast he runs in my uh, other Star Wars Conquest uh, series, and it's quite spectacular you know it's uh, something I must have so I think I'm gonna have to start leveling up my athletic skill if possible now it's currently fairly low I mean first of all my strength doesn't really need to go up any more than it is I can already deal with enemies in one hit as soon as I use my weapon enough and I get my proficiencies leveled all of this won't really matter as long as I got uh, level 6 force knowledge for uh, you know the force powers and I've got you know, my power strike up, and a lot of the other stuff I can increase with uh, holocrons and stuff, but my athletics really does need to be increased. Leadership, I'm pretty certain I can increase it via uh, raising other things, so I think at the moment I am going to focus on increasing my movement speed, or my running speed. I do think that's pretty important. Now, I could increase my shield, but I don't know yet. Shield is something I'm still debating about. Ah, uh, so... Uh, yes, no. I'll go ahead and increase my power strike. I don't think there are any other items which will increase it that much, so at least then it's capped out. I won't be investing any more points in strength, so I think that's good. I think that's a wise move. And what are some others? Okay, so one of my droid leveled as well. I'm not sure what to do with him yet. I'm just going to keep investing strength to get his health up so he survives the battles. The rest of the points I'll see. I'll tend to you later. Okay, so right now I need to hit another place. Hyporia I don't think I've actually visited yet, so let's go there and see what we can find. Perhaps I can get a uh, Shadow Guard helmet, but I believe that's got mythical status now, so... Oh look, I've been detected again. For a, you know, a really strong Sith, I'm getting detected a lot. Wow, look at this place. Crashed, crashed ships, that's awesome. Oh, there's one behind me. And the last, the last guy is over. Oh wow, I hit him as well. These. Very nice. Oh. So one thing I think I'll mention. When I was uh, messing around with the development stuff, that menu, you had the option to go to Dev Island. And when I did, I saw some Sith droids. When I say Sith droids, I'm talking about the droids the Sith used during the Old Republic era. So that was pretty cool find. Hopefully they're in game, although I doubt it somehow at the moment. But uh, yeah, I just figured I'd throw that out there. It's cool to know. Cool to know indeed. 
Okay. Oh, of course the helmet's not there. Oh, there's the Mandalorian helmet. quickly. I'm sure I'm welcome here. Jade? Cody? There was a companion I still haven't found. Hmm. I'll recruit her. Maybe I can turn her into a jet SF. Who knows? it doesn't hurt having the options. Okay, so where to next? I'm tempted to visit the home world of Tatooine. See if Jabba's in. Of course I've been found once more. Oh, some Jubaks. You're missing. And so am I. Okay, so what do we have here? Still no helmet. Oh wait, I have been here. It's just because I've never been caught when actually sneaking onto this planet. Holocron merchant, and of course, because I brought that helmet, I probably can't afford it. So what I was wanting to do was to start buying these and get my skills up. Leadership would be useful, but right now I don't really have any need for more troops. I will eventually, but right now I don't. The intelligence holocron on the other hand, if I could increase my intelligence stat, I wouldn't have to invest any more points from leveling up into it, which would be quite useful. And since I've never used one before, why don't we make this our first one? Now, I'm going to quickly leave out of here. Do I have enough food? I do indeed. Let's see what this actually does. Take an action. And... I can change my race? I had no idea I could do that. I don't want to mess with it just in case anything screws up. Okay, so what did that do? I'm currently viewing a, hol a holocron, so what does that mean? Does that mean if I go rest at a planet I can read it? Let's find out. We'll head to Camino. Oh, there's one more thing I'll, I'll mention. Is that... In that dev menu, you can increase the speed of your ship. I believe it's up to five times faster. So, if, you know, I decided to pick one of those bigger ships, which are nicer to use, but slow, I could always increase it that way. Now, it is kind of cheating, but I don't want to have to rely on, you know, I, this is somewhat of a role-play campaign, and the Dark Lord of the Sith would be using a grand ship, a grand capital ship, which is fast. It wouldn't be using a small little prison carry, uh, carrier like I'm using, so I'm just throwing that out there. I may look at doing that eventually, but for the moment I will hold off. Okay, I'm trying to work out how to use my lights, uh, my holocron. Let's go close at the cantina, have a quick look, see what's in here. I've already been here, haven't I? Okay, let's leave. So I've, I've Stop my ship here. Now, I'm assuming that if I 
believe. So, I was reading that holocron, that's cool to know. I've never really messed with books, I really should have, because if I work passively while you're just waiting and resting up, then... That's extremely useful. All I need now is some gloves for him. I'm tempted to sort of just rest here and see the effect of the... Hmm, I may do that for a test. Let's have a look, shall we? Okay, so, I've been, uh... Oh, there we go. I finished reading, oh, studying the Holocron. My intelligence has increased by one. I wonder how many times you can use those. Alright, so that's still in my inventory. I'm not sure what I can do with it now. Probably sell it. But, uh, let's have a look at my character. Yes, it's increased to 11, and it's actually given me the skill points too. That is quite something. I'm really happy with that. I'm going to have to uh, study some more because that means I've got spare skill points to invest in anything and it didn't cost me anything from levelling up. And since I'm not putting points in surgery, wound treatment and first aid this time, I can invest it in other things. But I think I'll wait for now and get my intelligence up. I'm also going to need to try out some other books as well. In fact, let's have a look. Can I sell this? Well... I'll look at it later. I need to actually get some more money because I'm very low on credits as you can see here. Only 240. Uh, wages were paid while I was waiting so now I'm going to have to hunt down some hut freighters and take what I can. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching and make sure you join me next time.